I was thinking of my uncle, Humbug. He said that Christmas was a humbug, as I live, and he believed it too. More shame for him, Fred. He's a comical old fellow. That much is true. And as unpleasant as he may be, however, his actions carry their own consequences, and I have nothing to say against him. I'm sure he's very rich, Fred. At least you always tell me so. But what of that, my dear? This money is of no use to him. He doesn't make himself comfortable with it. He doesn't do any good with it. And he hasn't the satisfaction of thinking that he'll help anyone with it. I have no patience with him. Oh, I have. I couldn't be angry with him if I tried. Here, he takes it into his head to dislike us and not make merry with us tonight. And what of the consequence? He loses a dinner and some company? Indeed. I think he loses a very good dinner. <laughs> the reason that I speak of my uncle so is because of my mother. God rest her soul. She loved him very much. Oh, that's true. Fan loved me and I loved her. I wish she were alive today. What I was trying to say is that the consequences of him taking a disliking to us and not making merry with us is that he loses out on some pleasant memories, which can do him no harm. I'm sure he loses far more pleasant companions in his mind than he would ever make in his moldy office or his dusty chambers. I mean to give him the same chance every year, whether he likes it or not. For I pity him. He, he may rail at Christmas until the day he dies, but he can't help but think better of it. But if he finds me going there year after year in good temper saying, Merry Christmas, Uncle, and if it just puts him in the vein to leave his poor clerk 50 pounds, then I have done something. And do you know what? I think I shook him yesterday. And every year he shall say Christmas, bah humbug. Oh, Come, Janet, let's see to our guests. He looks very much like her. Yes, I was only recently reminded of that. Shall we have a game then? Is everyone familiar with the game of similes? You shall have five seconds to guess what I'm thinking. If you fail to give an appropriate answer, you will have to stand up and get behind Fred, the chair. Fred, don't go on so. Let's be careful. All right. Proud as... Give it in light of the merriment. Come, let us see. 